Hello guys, um, in this video, it's um, a general video about what's going on to some of my subscribers, okay? Um, one of them asked me, what do you think about this Plus 500 website? I go to this website, I find it like, like it's not a broker, it's like a middleman. They put few stocks, and since you are beginner, you don't know what is it trading, you don't know what's the price, you don't know nothing. So, they will charge you a very high commission, and they will sell you uh, some stocks that they bought themselves, and they sell, to, uh, they, sell, they sell it to you, okay? They are making too much money from these beginners, and they don't know uh, if that they are in. Uh, is it broker or not broker? Okay, so please, anyone who is in this plus 500 or other websites that are not brokers, you are doing something wrong. And we are in the 1st of January today. It's a holiday. So now you should decide to take your money from all these kind of, of uh, websites and have a broker, a normal broker, okay? Where you have thousands of stocks to choose from, okay? Um, anything that gets listed into NASDAQ or uh, New York Exchange or American Exchange, American Exchange, or you can even choose uh, another broker, which is Interact Interactive Broker, which is one of the biggest you can trade anything in the world, any market. But those are for the highly, uh, highly uh, professional thing because they should know what they are doing. Okay, so you can you can uh, do uh, whatever you want, commodities, uh, forex, whatever you want. But my video today, okay, I'm trying just to address some questions about what the sub subscribers are doing. Some of them, they asked me what, uh, uh, how can I use this uh, plus 500? How? I told him he's not a broker. How can you, how can you, you go and you put your, your money into a website and they begin to play with you and uh, th that's not a good choice. The good choice is if you don't know, you should search online, or you can use my broker. If you are in the, in the United States of America, if you are here in the USA, use my broker. It's very, very simple. The lowest, uh, what is it, uh, commission. They give you 100 uh, commission free when you, when you apply. They don't ask you minimum. You can apply and you can put no money at all. You know the commission, it's less than five dollars is the cheapest on the market and uh the the all the thing is one page it means when you want to buy sell your position your money your portfolio everything is on one page so you don't need to go to another page to see other things which is a frustrating when you are doing uh business and I have chosen. I have. Uh, I have done many, many brokers, and I, I, I don't like them. Okay, this is the one that I like. Very simple, very easy. And please, from now on, if someone has signed up to a website for trading, um, or it seems like a broker, or you buy and you sell for beginners, please, please send me the link i will just take a look at it and i will tell you my opinion at least you get an opinion before you do something the brokers here in america they are very famous there are a few that are very famous some they are not they are like semi brokers they are not they are just what you call uh investment firms okay uh you say okay um you can't buy you can buy. Uh, I know. I know a lot about this because I, I have seen them and I call them. I see uh, one of the of the uh, investment, which is very famous investment, 
like it drips it means you you just uh, pay like $100 or $50 a month or something and they and choose some stocks they they have the 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 inventory so there is no like um, freedom to choose from thousands they just give you some and you choose from and those are old you know the old companies you know companies that have been 50 years 100 years and they say okay if they are 100 years it's good no it's so good why i don't go to google or facebook or twitter um in one month or two, uh, I get I get fifty uh, percent or eighty percent, one hundred percent. Why should I? I should go to an old uh, company uh, that it is like in the uh, last stage. Maybe it will die soon, so I may put my money. And they say it's for the future. There is no future. The, the future is for the young. Okay, you you know that. You know you see someone who is eighty or ninety. You say this is the future with him. No, okay, the future is with. Someone who is 18, 20, 25, 30. Okay, this is you should accept, accept the reality and don't uh, don't um, falsify things that are clear. Okay. Now, this company, for example, it says, I see the fees. For example, you put one hundred dollars. Um, a transaction fee ten dollars. Uh, each share. Uh, they take five cents for each share and a lot of fees and when I see this it's it's not logical how can I I, I give someone one hundred dollar he take ten dollars for commission I say I say I say I call them and they say what you propose is logical and that woman in customer service tried to explain to me uh, uh, a lot of investors they do that I say I don't care about other investors I don't care I care about myself first I want to go to this uh, to this investment thing but what you propose is too much how can you take $10 from my money it's 10% how can I make money in the future if you take 10% before this is just a transaction and I told her uh, who, who is stupid to uh, to buy $100 and he spent $10 for commission he should be retarded you know and you know why is, is this investment thing those it's for the the guys who have too much money okay too much money and they don't know how to how just to buy and sell which is if you if you give if I show you okay S someone who is in kindergarten he's four years five years okay you I show him the I show him the broker there is buy how many shares and submit okay that's it so how can how can this uh, so some people they 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 uh, they seem that it's very very difficult a broker is just uh the mean or the way through which you go to the market that's it he doesn't interfere in your trading he doesn't uh give you advice especially those discount what we call discount uh, uh what you call discount uh brokers like uh, like I, i'm using right now it's just a means to buy and sell they don't they don't interfere if i want to buy any stock penny stock or one uh, one stock with thousand dollars they don't care it's your business because they say discount because they discount the the uh, commission it's very very cheap but they don't give you any advice which is very good okay i don't need advice from anyone i buy what i want if i lose it is my money if I win, it is my money. So I don't, I don't need help with someone to take to take my money. Now, be careful always with these websites. If you don't know if you have a problem, or you don't know exactly what it is, if it is broken or it is not, just comment or send me a private message and ask me. Okay, what do you think about this? Okay. So this is just. 
some of my recommendations to my subscribers uh, related to brokers to some websites some maybe they are scams okay and you throw your money and they play your money and then one day you don't find the website you go to the website and the website is, is what, what is it a website okay the website is just a domain name you, you, you put a name and you find the hosting plan okay you, you pay four dollars or five dollars a month and you, you pay twelve dollars for, for the name that it is yours for one year you pay only twelve dollars this is a website and you put a page and some some people they because it is a website because you go and you find a website you think that it is a business sometimes it is not business sometimes they are middlemen sometimes they are scams scammers okay some they do business but they want to rip you off of your money if someone asks you to do an investment you give him one hundred dollars each month and he takes ten ten dollars twelve fifteen dollars and he charge you on each share you buy with uh with some cents and you find a lot of fees when i go there i get uh, this is not it's a very well known establishment and a firm it's very well known here in america but when i go to see their investment plan i get astonished i told the customer service how people are so, so stupid to do your plan and they tell explain to me okay i give you 100 dollar they ask you to choose from the worst in the stock market those old companies that no one wants them okay no one wants these companies they stagnate 10 years 20 years the stock is from for example 50 to 60 60 to 50 50 to 60 each year is the same and people are happy i don't know how the people are happy that um uh maybe uh, they get comfort because they told them this company get the test of time this is what I hear about fundamentals test of time it is 150 years staying in the market okay 100 but for me 150 years they make money and they are rich and it's good for them but for me what is it if I buy a stock with 50 does it go to 100 next year if it goes okay i will buy it it's good but the problem is that uh the company stagnate the, it means the price stagnate uh excuse me i'm drinking my coffee i love coffee too much okay i have some flu uh you know but i i need to talk to make a video and to tell you something that's why I make videos okay someone told me oh you talk too much I say okay it's my way I talk too much if I am silent you get scared okay because you don't know what I'm thinking so this is some of my recommendations I always try to give advice uh, advice not what to buy and what to sell this I must not do because I am not a certified advisor because a certified advisor has a license and someone when he looks for advice he should be paid the advisor should be paid with money he doesn't give you an advice for free so and for me I'm not giving advice on how to buy uh, on what to buy what to sell like uh, someone I make a video he told me uh, can I buy now Twitter uh, it goes down with ten dollars I see it's like fifteen dollars or twelve dollars or, or so I can't I can tell him buy or sell short I can't it's not my job to uh, to tell you I, I I am selling my book in order to give you a strategy that you you be independent you don't ask me you have this you have the stock you put my strategy on and the rules that I have in the book and it will give you in the future a signal if the stock is good to be bought okay if the stock is not good my strategy doesn't give you any signal okay this is the rule so you should search into industries search for the good stocks 
how do you know good stocks by my strategy because if I show you any any chart some people they like it some people they hate it some people they trade it some people they don't for me I just take a look at the chart without knowing the company the company is uh, XYZ I don't know it I see the price I see the volume I see the resistance line I see the support line and I will use my rules that I have what kind of stock is it the volume and uh, other kind of, uh, of rules that I use always the stop loss uh, other rules I will not give you all the rules because I will not give you something for I give a lot of things for free I know but not everything okay this is a secret of trader so I, I, I I'm not going to give you everything whatever you ask whatever you do okay so we we go back to our point is don't just give your money to any website and to anything and they say it's a firm it's a broker firm we uh, we give you the best stocks you know it is not so you should be careful you can go even to uh, the SEC which is Security Exchange Commission you put it on Google you have the website is the government website you go there and you check for the broker if it is true or not and there is another thing very important you can check the complaints against this broker because some for example you, they lose money in their in their accounts they don't know how or why and they should go to through all this uh, trading and they say oh it's a mistake or I don't know and it, you should you should see if the broker has good reputation in order to put your money into it okay this is a this is just a, a very good advice so if you don't know you can just go and search on Google don't see some reviews on YouTube because sometimes they ask people to have good uh, reviews and they are the same they are the same company it means the guys who was who were working for the same firm the same company the same uh, uh, investment firm and they tell good about it okay and another thing um, those membership um, I don't like membership I don't like to give to add a bill to myself okay I have enough bills for for me okay the phone electricity gas um, uh, you know the usual the usual uh, utilities but I don't want to add more that gives me nothing It gives me nothing it means I pay for something I pay a bill and I receive no service they give me stocks that go up for example uh, I'll give you just a, a website investors.com it's a fundamental fundamental they are basing on on, uh, on a book uh, I think how to trade um, uh, how to invest uh, for stocks for long uh, long ter uh, long term I guess this is the, the the name of the book and they uh, they put what you call Ken Lism Ken uh, I think Ken Slim Ken Slim is just a way to filter the stocks according to fundamentals okay uh, uh, good company nice reputation good customer service nice stores clean stores uh, good customer service earnings are good everything okay that's good but the stock for me I don't care about what the company is if a company is in the countryside small company no earnings but if the stock goes from six dollars it goes to forty dollars I buy this stock I don't care about the fundamentals about 
fundamentals about this company. What I care is the price because the price I make money from it. I don't make money from the reputation of the company. I understand this kind of fundamental thing. The fundamental thing is that um, they are used by mutual fans and they search because when they buy these stocks, when they buy too much, the stock go, goes up by force of buying. It's not because of the company that reputation, the price appreciate. It's not. Okay? So, and some companies are very old. The price is too much. Okay? So, it's very hard. That's why uh, the companies with smaller price, like $5, 10 15 20 25 these companies, when they roar, when they go up, they go so quick. Those that I'm looking for. I'm looking for a stock that goes from 10 goes to 50 in one month or two. I can make 100%, 200%, or 300%, or 50%, depending on the, on the stock itself. This is what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for, for a stock that it is 90, it goes to 100 in one year, 10%. 10% is mutual funds, you know, if I buy any mutual funds, it gave me 10%, so I don't care about this stuff. It's not enough. 10% plus tax plus commission, you will get nothing from, from that, okay? So, hope a drinking coffee makes the, uh, the video longer, but it's okay. If you see that my uh, video is long, you can stop it, go eat, or have a drink, come back and watch it. I know that nowadays people, they, they are not patient to listen. They want very, very quick. Like someone, someone uh, subscribes to me, tell me this uh, strategy that you have, very, very quick. Very, very quick, just give me which stock? When I buy, when I sell, that's it. I say to him, this is business. We, we are not selling vegetables and fruit or like McDonald's selling fast food. I'm not selling fast food. Uh, in one minute or two, you have your food ready. It's not. It's business. It takes time. It takes money. It, it takes mistakes to correct. It takes to control yourself. Okay? So I repeat again, I will, I will come back to my first point that I speak about. If you, are, uh, if you want to have uh, investment companies or firms or something, do your homework. Don't give any penny to any firm before you understand what is it, what are the fees, what are the commissions, and is it right or no for you? Okay? Is it... Uh, why, why, most of the people who, who, uh, who have uh, work for a company that it is listed in the NASDAQ or uh, uh, New York Exchange or American Exchange and they have the, what we call the 401, the 401 is good. It's the best investment that I have ever seen. Okay? They match 50% or 100%. Where have you find this? You put $50, they give you another $50. You, go, you put $100, they give you another $100. Where have you seen a company giving money for free? And if you if the stock of the company, uh, if uh, the mutual friends that are in the company, in the 401 goes higher, you are you are winner with two things. First, you get the uh, percentage, the matching. Each company has, has different matching, but mainly it's 50% or 100% of, of the money you put. If you put, for example, some companies, if you put $100, they give you $50 for free. Okay? It is real money. So some people, they say, oh, it's just number. No, it is not number. It is a number that is real. Because you see your, your 100, 100, you go to your account, and you see it's 150. And if the stock go up, and they don't charge commission. This is excellent. Okay? 
This is excellent. Some companies they offer separate thing when you buy its own stock. Okay? Maybe if you are, uh, you can ask if you can buy the stock. Uh, they give you a percentage. Some they don't give you a percentage. If you know your company is doing very well and the future is with your company because you are you are there. If your company is not doing business, maybe you get fired or get laid off. So you don't you don't want to put money into a loser. Okay. So you if you are a losing company. You shouldn't put, you shouldn't buy it to stock. If the stock was 50 and now it is 20 after one year, and they ask you, they offer you um, um, uh, to sell the stock uh, f f uh, with a discount, never do that. Tell them when the stock is going from 10 to 50, I will buy. Because the stock is going up, I will make more money. But if the, from 50 it goes to 20 or 10, in one year or two, and they ask you to buy, you say, I'm sorry, I don't buy a loser. It's very simple. Why people, why people, they love losers. You see a stock going down for, it lost all its money, and the people, especially the beginners, they say, oh, it's cheap. It's, it's a bad game. No, it is not a bad game. Okay? So, this is in general, what I recommend, is that, pay attention, don't give your money to any firm to, before you do your homework. If you don't find, if you just a friend or a website, you find it, you don't know what is it or how to deal with it, just send it to me, private message or in the comment, and I will try to um, look at it. Okay, I will do I will do the, this just for free, just to help my subscribers and my viewers, just to help them not to get ripped off, because a lot of people they do I don't say stupid things because they don't know. If you don't know, you should ask. Okay, ask here and there and then until you get the right answer and then you decide. You don't just throw your money. Your money, you work so hard to get your money. So don't give it for free for some companies that are what we call middlemen. They want to rip you off. They, uh, they, 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 they can't promise nothing. If, if you buy a stock and the stock goes down, you lose money. They don't lose. Believe me, they are doing business. They don't lose. They take commissions, they take fees, but they don't lose. You lose. They don't lose. Okay? So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions as usual, Okay, write back or uh, write me a private message. Thank you.